As you will see in this course, one product can be made in more than one way. However, which one you should choose depends on many different factors as listed here. First, it depends on the material. For example, if it is ceramics, then you cannot melt it and so you have to choose methods that do not involve melting. If it is plastic, then you have to use molding techniques and can't use machining there. Design intent. What is your objective behind the product? Is the product supposed to be lightweight? Then you should think about using plastics and plastic manufacturing methods. Is the product supposed to have one hole or 50 holes? If it has 50 holes, then you should use CNC machining rather than manual machining because it will be much faster that way. Dimensional tolerances. How accurate do you want your product to be? Does your 2 inches long product have to be exactly 2 inches or are you okay with 2.005 inches? Are you, are you okay with 2.1 inches? You have to ask these questions to yourself. Generally, the tighter your tolerances are, the more it will cost you to make the product. So if you don't need um, so much accuracy in your design, then don't go for it because it will be much economical for you that way. The final product's properties. Is the product supposed to be highly flexible? Go for plastics. But should your product be somewhat flexible and strong conductor of electricity? Then go for softer metals such as aluminum or copper. Depending on what you choose, your preferred manufacturing technique will change. Cost is a major driving factor in a lot of things in life, let alone manufacturing. Some manufacturing methods will cost you only a couple of hundred dollars, whereas others will cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. So choose something that suits your budget. Are you making just one product for a prototyping purpose? Or do you want to mass manufacture and make 5000 copies of your product? How many pieces you want will also have an effect on what manufacturing method you should choose. If you just want 5 pieces made of your plastic product, don't go for injection molding because it will cost you a fortune just to make the mold. Think about 3D printing it. But if you have finalized the design and want 10,000 pieces made, then don't do 3D printing. It will be cheaper to use injection molding there. Finally, access to equipment and how easy it is for you. Do you have a machine shop in your school or workplace? Great. Use that to your advantage. Do you have a 3D printer or are you willing to spend $1500 to buy a good one? You have to basically assess your situation and find out what is easy for you. As long as the product quality is not affected, choose the path of least resistance. There are many things to consider and you may not know all the answers right away but this is what this course is for. The course will train you into thinking logically about manufacturing processes and how you should select the right one.